Denny Hamlin hard into the wall in turn one. Green caution, caution, caution. Massive caution, caution. contact, big, big damage to the right front of that car. Something broke at the steering. Oh, something broke. Yeah, that car went straight into turn one, right into the fence. Hard, hard contact for Denny Hamlin. Before the contact, Denny Hamlin 10 points above the cut line. We'll see how this is going to affect this team. Down the, down the front straightaway. Let's take a look. Off into the corner. Yeah, looks, looks like either the right front went down or something in the steering. The tow link broke. I'm not quite sure, but that car goes straight into the fence. You've seen it sort of jolt. Watch the steering wheel. Watch the steering wheel. See if anything happens there. Oh, did you see a steer wheel jerk out of his hands right there? He shifted. He went down to shift, too, yeah, and it looked like the there steering wheel... Was, there was some contact between he and yeah. the 12. You wonder if he didn't cut a sidewall on a tire or something like that happened because when those in those battles, there was contact. Did something get damaged? Did a tire get cut in that in that battle with Blaney? Whatever happened, you can almost see the wheel get yanked out of his, steer, out of his hands, Marty. Denny Hamlin with a steering issue and his teammate Martin Truex Jr. with an issue as well. This was under green a moment ago. Yeah, I thought my motor was feeling bad. Got no power. I think it might be blowing up. And you can see the oil coming from the tailpipe, Steve. He said it's running rough. It's cutting off. They've asked him to go to page three on the uh, on the uh, screen right in front of him to try and diagnose it. But it looks like the engine for the 19 is not going to live. What a cruel five-minute turn for Joe Gibbs Racing with Hamlin and Truex having an issue. Yeah, two with an issue. Bell leading. Uh, you know, so you go to page three to try to diagnose it to see if there's something you could try to do to limp this thing home. But you see the smoke coming out the pipe, so definitely some sort of an internal issue for the 19 car. And guys, for the 11, it looks like the right front tire on the car still has air in it, sitting right here, right? It's not on the wheel, so I think you guys both called it the movement in the wheel. There wasn't really any sparking like it went down onto the car at any point or any of the rub blocks or anything. So something in the steering, I mean, all of these cars have hit the wall multiple times today. It's going to be very interesting to see what Joe Gibbs Racing, Chris Gabehart, and this 11 team finds what was finally the moment that let go. And it might be hard to understand after the hard contact post failure. Denny's climbed out of the car. There's Coach on the bottom of the screen. And you can hear in the background, you can hear Truex engine. It's sick. It is not running right at all. Winding that down on yeah. Truex's car. He's going to climb out as well. Marty. They're done, Rick. Yep. And Truex did say, if I shut it off, I feel like it will not start. And James Small said, shut it off. We're done. And Truex now being pushed back to the garage. What a crazy five minutes for this race team. Well, a year ago, only two playoff drivers finished in the top 10 here. And it looked like it was going to be the exact opposite this year. They filled the top 10 other than Busher. Uh, but now it's Bell, Byron, Blaney, one, two, three, Reddick, the 